Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out inland uh, at a site near Sheffield. Uh, I've been in Sheffield this morning at the Yorkshire Natural History Museum playing in their prep lab, brushing up on my skills and talking about some of the work that they're doing there. Uh, but I am out here at a Carboniferous site. Uh, carboniferous material is the coal deposits in the UK and it's about 350 million years old. And the coal deposits here are really important. They're what give rise to the steel industry in Sheffield and provide a lot of the energy for the Industrial Revolution. But the problem with a lot of the coal tips and all of the sites where you might find fossils is the vast majority of them are buried underneath development. So the main site is across whoop, that bridge there uh, and it is now all a development site, uh, building a bunch of new houses on top of it. Where I am is a park on the other side of the road and some of the exposures uh, from the coal tips are going to be visible in the verges, the edges, the river uh, that runs through and some of the lakes and streams and ponds in and around this park, I hope. Uh, so we'll have a look, see what we can find and we'll be back with you as we find things. Not much of a plant fossil but you can just see some fern leaf there sticking out of this little rock. Uh, and even though this is a bit of a spoil heap and they didn't uh, put much that they wanted over here, there's still some pretty big lumps of coal like this bit uh, just knocking around to be picked up. And in fact, the vast reason, or the reason the vast majority of this is black, is all of the uh, coal and carbon material within it. Yeah, it may not look like an awful lot, but a few leaves just there, a little stem, very worn away. Yeah. But they've done a good job capping this site. There's <laughs> not a lot of rock on this plant. It's all very small what is. Uh, so it's a bit of a challenge. But we are looking through all the little gullies and drainages that run up and down the sides here, just to see if there's anything out that might be interesting. Yeah, it's just some more little pieces. It's nothing too exciting, but a little leaf, some uh, fragments there, and uh, a few bits and pieces in the stuff down here, so more plant material. Uh, little bits and pieces. Nothing that I've thought, mm, that's really nice, I want to take it home. Not yet at least. I'll keep looking. That's not too bad though. A few little leaves all together. It's likely to break though with that crack running through it, but we'll see if we can wrap that up to take that back. When you slow down and actually look, there's lots of fossils around, so little bits of leaves there, not well preserved and buried still. A gorgeous little single leaf on this. As you might see, I'm just working my ways along the edge of this little pond, because uh, it seems to be where most of the rock is exposed. And so there's a few little nodules, and you can see it's also raining, uh, but some little plant material bits. And this is the sort of stuff we're looking for, it's these little teeny tiny nodules. Ideally a much bigger nodule, but we might find some invertebrates as well as plant material in them. Another little bit of plant material. I'm not sure exactly uh, what it is, whether these are little leaves uh, or if this is sort of ridging on uh, something like Calamites stem. Uh, but I don't know. But some more plant material, something a bit different. So unfortunately that's going to wrap us up. It's not a huge amount to find today, uh, but I'm not super surprised. Coal pits are notoriously dangerous places, uh, especially old disused ones like this once was. Uh, they have had collapses of fairly famous sizes in Wales and the chemicals associated with coal pits, both through the quarrying and through the uh, release of the sulfur uh, compounds, uh, cause a lot of toxic issues. So if the council and the community can better utilize the land, in this case making what can only be described as a very beautiful park out of it, then I'm all for it. And on the other side of the road, where I think most of the fossils have historically come from, uh, it's becoming developed into a bunch of housing. And so whilst I'm a little disappointed I can't find more fossils, it's a much better use for the community, so I can't complain too much. But that being said, I'm going to try and get out and find a few more sites that we can explore the Carboniferous of the Yorkshire area, whether that be some of the marine record or also some of the terrestrial. It seems a shame that we aren't better exploring the material that makes Yorkshire such an industrial powerhouse back in the industrial era. And that's all because of its coal and its carboniferous fossils. So I'll be back with you soon and I hope you enjoy.